Hello guys, um, I'm doing a little video today um, about how we're all feeling about this game at the minute, which isn't very, very good. I don't know if a few of you are aware, I've been playing this game for about two years and I've made some really, really good friends and these are friends from all over the world, America, Egypt, you know, literally everywhere China yeah I've made friends in China literally all over the world I've, I've made friends with people playing this I mean over two years that's quite a long time so you know over those two years what I, I got up to prestige five you know I'm running quite high arches I think it's about 470 I'm running um, you know and the power and but I remember when this in the beginning this game was really really good really good fun there was thousands of people playing it you know in each kingdom there was just so many players so many personalities you know and and everybody having really good fun there was balance you know nobody was that far apart if you're lucky enough to be in a kingdom where People didn't spend so much money to get just so they could just be the biggest and most dominant. You know, it was a really good, fun kingdom. Like my kingdom, 269, you know, we all sort of raised in power at quite a, a, a good balanced rate. Um, you know, and I remember Castle 21 was, was an awesome castle to have. Let's see. Yeah, there's a 21 there. I remember seeing those 21 castles flying around that had 1 million power. And to me, they were monsters. You know, absolute monsters. And I used to think, I want a 21, I want a 21. You know, and then people started, you know, upgrading a bit more. And then along came a 23 like this one here, Lady Lawrence. And that little bit, bit on the back, you know, it looked beast. I thought, this 23 is a monster. You know, I thought that was cool. And then the 24 which was really, I remember getting mine as a 24 and I just thought, yes, you know, I'm, I'm, was feeling great. You know, everyone was, there was still balance. It was still moving forward. You know, a lot of the options weren't there. You were just, you know, it was proper, decent gameplay. Then the 25 come out, which looked really cool. And then obviously then 26, there's one next to me, which was awesome. And then, you know, we're talking, T9 troops, and if you know, I remember thinking the 26 is just a, an absolute beast, you know. And we're talking a few million power, you know. And you had some, you you were strong, you know, and you did really well. And then since then, the pinnacle was a castle 30. Let me see if there's a 30, just a bog standard 30 somewhere. You know, if you had a 30, everyone was like, panic, oh my god, there's a 30. And then, you know, the game then started going to prestige, so we go prestige one, you know, and that's when we realised that we need prestige badges, and it was all quite a cost, and, you know, and it was something to work up to, and then prestige two, and then we got prestige three, and then we got prestige four, and then obviously then the... the the biggest to get was the P5, which, you know, uh, the P5, to get the P5, it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. You've got to get a lot of badges. You know, there's a lot of things. It's just not cheap. And then, but it's not just that. It's your stats. It's your power. It's it's troops. It's everything. Because you've got to get everything, all your troops to P5. That costs a lot of money. And then, you know, we're talking the armor that the lord wears that that's all a lot of money um and then i'm at the point where i've realized now that the game you can't do anything on this game without money you can't do anything nothing even to fight or attack somebody you need money you need to spend money to hit a castle you need to stick your buffs on and you want a bonus 
So, you know, you're talking, we're at 40% now, everyone wants to use 40%, and they, they've made them only an hour, you know, they're, they're only an hour long or a two hour long attack or defense. Everybody uses them now, unless you've got, let's be fair, everyone uses them. And then, so you've got that, and then you want to, if we go into here, then you want to increase your maximum march. So then we've got a 25, a 70, mm -hmm. well, there's a 50, a 60, a 70. I think they now even do higher than a 70. Plus they do a higher than a 40% attack. I think they do a 45 or even a 50 now you can get in some packs. And it's just, it's just in my opinion, it's starting to spiral out of control. You know, Daydreams went bananas the other day when they released an 80, it was, a, we're talking UK money, an 80 pounds massacre effect pack, which was 100%. You had 50% chance of killing 100% of their troops and a 50% chance of none of, of 100% of your troops going to hospital. Well, you don't, none of them die. It's ridiculous. That That is ridiculous. Daydream says they've removed it now, but it just shows you how out of control the game is going. It's completely out of control now. Massively just money driven. It's all this game is now is completely money driven. There's no balance now. There's no balance. There's nothing. You know, I get message after message that there is just no, res there's no support from the game. They don't, they don't support people. They don't help people. It's just money, 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 and money. That's all this game is now, is money. And I've realised if I ever want to do, if I want to compete in Dragon Campaign, if I want to drink, compete in Battlefield, if I want to compete in Kingdom Conquest, it co I've got to spend money. I've got to spend money. It's cost thousands just to get my castle where it is. And now I've got to keep spending just to, just, just to keep doing it. And and unfortunately, you know, today it's quite a sad day. I, I'm losing two really good friends of mine that have played this game as long as I have. So this person here, Zach Hades, my right hand man, he's he's called to eight five seven seven three one. He's leaving this game. His P five is available. Do not message me about it. Message Hades directly and speak to him. But his castle, his P5, will be available. Also, Darth Bane, it's another P5 castle. And it has four P5 troops. His cords, 864-733. He is also leaving the game. Again, you need to message him directly. You know, I, I don't want to get involved in in anything to do with their castles. I'm just upset that they're leaving, but I understand why they are leaving. They've had enough of the game. You know, they've had enough. The, the kingdoms are just, you know, they're unbalanced. There's, and we're talking ridiculous unbalance. You know, they're talking about merges, but the problem is, is, the kingdoms, none of the kingdoms are balanced. So merging kingdoms, they're still not balanced anyway. And they won't balance. That won't balance it. How will merging kingdoms that are already unbalanced balance them? It won't. You know, it. you've seen it yourself, okay? Like, okay, Dragon Campaign, it's unbalanced. So people play for points. Everyone plays to get the 200 points because it's unbalanced. Battlefield, it's unbalanced. You know, people go on there. I, I use it to test stats, but there's so much unbalance even on that. People go on there with 100 million castles, just smash everyone. And, and no one is, is achieving or, or doing anything or, or getting to do what, you know. The fun is going out of this game. The, the fun is going. And then Kingdom Conquest... Each kingdom up against each other, they all shield. So my kingdom, entire shields, the enemy kingdom, they all shield, and only a handful fight. And the handful that fight 
are either really, really powerful, which is what it is, and there's just no balance. You know, and it's just not, no one fights. Because, why is that? Why does no one fight? Because, what, they don't, one, they don't want to lose power. Well, no one wants to lose power. But, it's just, there's just a real problem in this game. And I don't see it being rectified. This this is, he's probably not going to like me showing you this, but this, this is from my friend, Darth Bane. So this is his message, which, you know, sums it up. Here we go. So this is Darth Bane, which is Messiah Vader. I just can't do it anymore, man. This game and the developers disgust me. I've dropped 6,000 into this castle and I can still get fucked. I'm not mad that I can lose, but really after putting that much money in, I'm still behind. All this game has become is pay to play, not win, but simply to play. And since the beginning, I've honestly hated this game. As you know, I'm an avid gamer and I love video games. But this just goes completely against what games are supposed to be. The only reason I pay, play is to play with the friends I've made over time. But I'm really, really just sick of it. How can you, how can you argue that? You can't. You know, this, this game is now pay to play. That, that is how it is. It is literally pay to play. I'm still playing literally because of the friends that I've got. You know, I'm a leader of this alliance, but, you know, I'm losing the desire to play. You know, let's let's be fair. You know, the, the cannon exploit, which they just refused to accept, the destroy order, where they zeroed me. Let's be fair. You know, shields are redundant now. Shields make no difference. You know, markets, no difference. And, you know, that massacre effect made hospitals redundant. You know, it's it's when will they stop? They won't stop. They're going to keep going and keep looking for things for more and more and more money, more gimmicks, more money, 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 money. That's all it is. And all the little players, the players that don't spend money, they got no chance of growing, no chance of going anywhere, no chance of anything. They've got no chance of surviving. They can't grow. They can't do anything. What can they do? Nothing. You've got, no disrespect here, but you've got players in these kingdoms with a billion power. Seriously, a billion power? What's the point in spending all that money for a billion power? What's the point? You know, it just makes you untouchable. And again, what's the point? You're not, you're not having the enjoyment of a struggle of a battle, of a rebellion, or you're not having that enjoyment. You're not having the, I mean, we, my alliance was having the enjoyment because we were against unbelievable odds and we were fighting back, but there's only so far you can go before you throw the towel in and start saying, well, it, it's not just our enemies. It's actually the game as well. It's the game as well. You know, we're, we're fighting the game and the game is making it harder for anybody to do anything without spending money. You know, and and like Darth Bane said, that's not how games uh, should be. They shouldn't be play to pay, play, pay to play, pay to play. Exactly that. You know, and the game is just. Oh, I've lost so much faith in this game that was once great. It was once brilliant. You know, I was hooked addicted i couldn't get off the game but now i'm finding it harder and harder to go on it you know and it's just it's a shame it's a shame a real big shame the developers you know the game it's all just money completely money driven and they've forgotten about their members they have they've forgotten about them and that's a real big shame.